Hey Josh, it's Tuesday, and I'm in a new location again. Um, might have filmed in here last time this happened, but um, mom and dad are. Um, M mom and dad went to the uh, Grand Canyon, and so I've been spending a little more time <laughs> down here. Uh, plus, also, I'm not sure if you can tell, but I've had a sore throat and a little bit of a cold um, since Sunday morning. And um, it's cold upstairs, and I don't feel like making it any worse, so I've been hanging out down, er, down here a lot. Uh, drinking a lot of tea, that is for sure. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, like I said, I have a bit of a sore throat, so my voice might sound a little weird. It's a lot better now than it was yesterday, but, um, and even on Sunday, it was, it was bad. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, now that that long intro is out of the way, um, to answer your question of the week... Um, I don't, I didn't have any, pl I don't have any plans for Halloween, tomorrow Halloween, um, but on Saturday, um, or this past Saturday, the 27th, I want to say, yeah, the 27th, um, I, uh, well, that's when I dropped Mom and Dad off at the, uh, airport, and it was kind of funny, because I went straight from there to Uncle Tim and Aunt Danielle's, uh, because they had a Halloween party that I used my costume for their Samick here, uh, and it was kind of funny, because I drove to the airport in the costume, and, uh, uh, when, when I walked down, Dad was just like, oh, you better not step out of the car, and I was just like, I didn't plan to, but it, it was just kind of funny, um, but yeah, so the, that's pretty much what I did for, um, for that, I, yeah, I showed you the, or I sent you the pictures of, um, of my costume, um, <laughs> I got good LARP shit, <laughs> anyway, but, um, ow, <laughs> Sorry, um, which that actually kind of leads into this, or this video a little bit. I almost said episode, I don't know why I would have said episode, it's not episodic, I mean it kind of is, but anyway. Um, I've been looking around for different LARP areas, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the last video or not, I think I did mention it in the last video. Um, but I did find a couple of places around here that sounds kind of interesting that I might check out. Uh, a few of them accept latex weapons, weapons, uh, which is good because that's all that I have. Um, I actually have a uh, dagger next to me because I enjoy flipping them a lot uh, when I'm bored. It's a good time killer. But, um... <laughs> But yeah, um, a lot of places though, um, if you want to have an armor, it has to be like actual armor of whatever, um, what's the word I'm looking for, material, uh, would be made out of. So for example, my character will probably use leather armor because he's a rogue and that's kind of his whole thing. Um, although with uh, the weapons that I currently have, I'm not sure if that really counts as being a rogue in a lot of places, because, um, for example, that, uh, Dragonhold LARP, I'm pretty sure that I talked about it last video, um, they have, like, a little, or they have different skills that you can learn, uh, and one of them is Backstab, I believe is what it was called, and you have to have a, your weapon has, to, your dagger has to be um, a certain length, and the short swords that I have for, uh, I have those here as well. These are a little too long for the, uh, for their dagger requirements, um, so I'd probably have to try and use one of these for it if they allow me, but these are, these are made to be thrown, which is why they don't have a core, um, unlike these that do have a core, but, um, so I might end up having to buy uh, an actual LARP dagger, 
Um, but anyway, what, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the armor. Um, I might end up having to buy, like, an actual thing of leather armor, and I actually found a, uh, I actually found the Dura set that would, that actually is pretty, uh, I don't know why I'm trying to bring it up, you won't be able to see it. Um, but I, I found, like, an actual set of, or an actual, uh, thing of leather armor on the same website that I got these things from. Uh, that's where I've gotten all my LARP stuff. Uh, minus this, I'm not sure if this counts because the, um, tip isn't, that's as far as the tip goes in. So. <laughs> Sorry, anyway, but, um, but yeah, so I'm probably gonna have to buy, like, an actual proper length dagger and actual armor because in order to get the benefits of having the armor it has to be made of the actual uh actual material and um so yeah that's uh that might be a little while seeing as though it's um currently all together about 600 which is a little more than twice as much as i spent on the original costume <laughs> So, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm, if I'm gonna end up doing that quite yet. Um, of course, first I have to find the area, or a place that actually, that I'll actually be able to use latex weapons with, uh, rather than boffers, because I just don't care much for the boffers. I know that that's the typical thing that people use, but they just look so clunky and honestly a bit boring in my opinion whereas these look like actual weapons that would be used in time like even the hold is made of actual leather it's an actual leather strap so it's i don't know what's what i'm gonna do with it but yeah so um i'll just cut the video there or else i'll make this another 10 minute video about just talking about different or the ideas that I have for my LARPing or for LARPing whenever I end up doing it. Um, but yeah, so anyway, Josh, my question for you um, is the same question that you asked me. Uh, did you guys do anything for Halloween? Um, I remember you guys mentioned about how you were going to be doing your Dungeons and Dragons characters. Um, not sure if you guys ended up doing that or not. So that'll do it for this video. So Josh, I will see you on Friday. Later, bro.